Hi, my name is Sergio Couto, and you are watching From Field to Stream. Today, Greg, um, what can we expect from the fishing prospect? Well, at this time of year, it's very early. In fact, it's the earliest I've ever been on Loch Leven. It's the 31st of March. But technically, it doesn't start till the 1st of April. So, this time of year, the water's still very cold. You can expect the fish to be very deep. So, it's generally quite difficult fishing. Okay. But the, the fish are exceptional quality, so it does make it worthwhile when you do catch them. Tell me a little bit about the rod that you're using today then, Greg. Yep, well, the rod we're fishing today, it's a Guideline Le Sea, it's a 10 foot 8 weight rod, which is basically a standard all round lock fishing reservoir rod, I suppose you could fish it on rivers as well. Um, the line I'm fishing is a, a DI7, it's a density intense 7, it sinks at 7 inches per second, which is what you need at this time of year to get down to where the, the majority of the fish are going to be. Fly-wise, uh, again, because we're fishing down deep, I'm fishing mini lures, uh, which are basically uh, they're, they're basically small lures that will attract to the attract the trout's ag aggressive instincts, and you know we're trying to provoke a chase and for them to grab it, as opposed to trying to imitate what they're feeding on naturally. Uh, the, the, the feeding's so heavy, heavy and lock leaving, uh, lock leaving. It's uh, you know the chances of you imitating a a sort of small snail down deep and then grabbing it is, is quite minimal so it's best to, to, to pull through and pull some lures through and, uh, and try to get them to chase and fly up to the boat as we've seen already today. So since the conditions are proving rather challenging today um, would you consider changing tactics then? Yeah well we've tried, we've been fishing many lures for uh, most of the day uh, you know, there's, it's relatively calm, it's maybe worthwhile giving buzzers a go or certainly going down to snatchers and we probably will give them a try later on but just from experience, you know, stripping mini lures back early in the season tends to be the, the most successful the most successful method um, but as I say earlier, the, you know, we are a few weeks ahead weather-wise this year with the warm weather we've been having so, you know, very much trying to fish some of the, the natural limitations buzzers, snatchers, things like that, it could be well worth a go Lovely hill locks in Scotland. I mean, why, why Loch Leven? Why come back here year after year? Well, I do. I fish all over, uh, and I do fish the hill locks. But Loch Leven itself—it's such a big loch, and it's a, in my eyes, you know, it's a, it's a special place because as one, I spent my my youth fishing here all the time, and uh, I, think, I suppose the main thing that, that keeps me coming back is it's always such a, a challenge. You know, it's never—you could go out one day and have a, a fantastic day and think you've cracked it, and then go out the next day and not see a fish. So it's a, it's it's a very it's a very difficult loch to fish but equally rewarding. You see women drivers from bad. So if we continue having a bit of bad luck to do then, um, do you think you'll consider changing styles to see if that might help? But, but you can't say bad luck. Why can't I say bad luck? <laughs>
Don't shield. 